All right, let's talk about the material derivative. The material derivative is actually based off the acceleration of a fluid, and if you remember, um, the acceleration uh, equation from a while ago. I forgot which video, but um, well, let me write it down, and maybe you'll you'll remember it or see uh, a similarity at least. So the material derivative is usually denoted dt, dt. This big uppercase T is um, temperature. It's, it's the example we'll be doing in this video, so I just use temperature. And that's equal to V times del T, right? Our velocity dotted with uh, the del operating on T and that's equal to velocity dot uh, del, which is our partial operator. So it's d of something in respect to x, i plus d of something in respect to y, j plus uh, d of, or the partial in respect to z, K of something and it's operating on the temperature function, okay? And that, if we do the dot product and, and bring this, this T into all of our uh, del operating components, we'll get um, dt dt is equal to the partial of the temperature in respect to time Okay, that's actually not in this equation, but we include it because sometimes the velocity does depend on time. Plus v of x partial in respect to t of x plus v of y partial in respect to t of y plus v of z uh, partial of t in respect to z. Okay, that is our... Uh, material derivative and I forgot to mention um, this right here is only equal to this so v dot del t is only equal to this this we include um, if if there's a time dependent variable t in the velocity field and let me do an example and you'll, you'll see how this fits in so the example I have let me just read the problem to you the temperature distribution in a fluid is given by T equals 10x plus 5y. So, example, the temperature is given as a function of Tx plus 5y, where an x and y are the horizontal and vertical co coordinates in meters, and T is in degrees centigrade. Uh, determine the time rate of change of temperature of a fluid particle traveling A, horizontally only at 20 meters per second so in that case v of y is going to be equal to zero right just horizontally and b uh, vertically only so v of x is zero and v of y at 20 meters per second okay so if you look back to our uh, uh, our material derivative. It's saying material derivative is all of this. Now, if we look at the temperature, do we see a time dependent t? Does the temperature change um, as time moves? No, there's no small t. So this is actually zero. And notice another thing this is only in two dimensions. So is the temperature. So we can actually neglect this entire z term. So what we're left with is dt dt is equal to, uh, oops, I'm sorry, v of x dt dx, or partial of time, or temperature in respect to x, plus partial of y, or the y component of the velocity, times a partial of the temperature in respect to y. Okay, so for a, where we have v of x is equal to 20 and v of y is equal to 0, 
Well, then that term, this entire term, is zero, right? Because v of y is zero. It doesn't matter what the partial in respect to y is of the temperature. So we, we get dt dt is equal to 20 meters per second times uh, the partial of t in respect to x. So the partial of this in respect to x only. And that would be 10, right? 10 times 10. So we get, if this is traveling horizontally, we get the material derivative is just 200. Uh, centigrade per second. Right? Uh, so that's our answer for A. For B, same thing. Well, in B, in this case, it's tra traveling vertically in the y direction only. So our x term is 0. So we'll just have to worry about this. Our V of y is 20. And the partial of t in respect to y, so this time in respect to y, well, that's just 5, right? So this is 0, uh, that, that's just 5, the partial in respect to y. And that gives us 100 centigrade per second, okay? That's the material derivative.